everyone, welcome back to my channel. I was going through my closet the other day trying to decide what I'm gonna to push to the side and kind of pack away now that winter's almost over or nearing the end and what winter stuff I can still wear into spring and I wanna keep out and kind of begin to transition into the warmer weather. And I thought it'd be fun to kind of do a video identifying not a ton of pieces, but just a handful, like five or six items that I wore a lot in the winter and that I can transition into spring. And these are, a lot of them are just staples and a lot of them are staples with these retailers, but these are even pieces that you could have in your own closet and things that you might think to yourself, like for example, turtlenecks. Turtlenecks are one of those things that people think like fall and winter. But when you're moving into spring, I don't know about you, but for me, where we live, it still stays quite cool up until like late April. And I don't always want to wear a button down blouse or, uh, you know, can't wear a tank top or anything like that yet or short sleeve shirt. So I like to wear turtlenecks. These are some of my favorite. These are by Club Monaco. And what I'll do is I'll also link a bunch of blog posts below where I'm wearing all of these items in different blog posts. You can see them, how I've styled them and whatnot. And I have bought, I've been wearing this Club Monaco lightweight turtlenecks for, I don't know, five or six years. I buy them in like print, like this leopard. I have this um, thin stripe and then I have them in regular colors. And I just absolutely love wearing them in the winter underneath coats, underneath sweaters, anytime I want to add another layer underneath a big vest, a long vest, a, a faux shearling vest. But in the spring, I like to wear them moving in just alone with a pair of jeans like I have and pumps, or you can wear them with just like a simple black turtleneck with just a denim skirt and some sneakers. You can wear them with white jeans. You can wear them with a long midi skirt or even just a pencil skirt. That way you can forego the jacket, but you still have something to keep you somewhat warm. These are an example of the jeans that I would wear them with. These jeans I wore all throughout winter and fall, but I totally would transition them into spring as well. These are my free people jeans, and I love that they're a little bit high-waisted. I love that they're a darker wash, which traditionally you would think would be perfect for winter and fall, but I think of wearing them even into spring and putting them with like a denim shirt, wearing them with like a crisp white eyelet shirt, wearing them with wedges, wearing them with sneakers. You could do so many different things with a pair of like just classic dark denim jeans, especially you can get them distressed, not distressed. I like distressed, I like rips in the knees, rips everywhere. So those are two items that I wore pretty much all winter long that I can easily transition into spring. Two shoe options. I raved about these Sam Edelman ankle boots. I raved about them a ton on my blog and how comfortable they were and how chic and just easy to put on. So this is a perfect example of something I would wear into spring, like a standard, just classic ankle boot. I could see this worn with a pair of jeans and a turtleneck, no coat or anything. You could wear this with a denim skirt. You can wear this with a long maxi dress. You can wear this um, with maybe a lightweight sweater dress and your ankle boots. And in, in a basic color like this, this camel color, pretty much would go, I think, year round, but especially into spring. I wear, I wear ankle boots all year round. I mean, even in like the dead of summer, I'll be in like a really like cute summer dress and ankle boots. I actually have a blog post, and I'll link it below, of when Stan and I went to some sunflower fields in last summer and I had on this really pretty floral tank dress, but I wore it with some Isabel Morant ankle boots and it just kind of gave it a really kind of casual look, but I was still very comfortable and we were walking around in kind of dirt and whatnot, so it kept my feet clean. Another shoe that I wore all throughout the winter and I will definitely be taking into spring and even summer are sneakers, but not just any sneakers, not athletic sneakers that I use to like work out in or whatnot. I love, these are my golden goose leopard print sneakers. I have another pair of golden goose that are like a gray color, but just a classic, cute, comfortable sneaker, not an athletic sneaker, not one that you're wearing to the gym, 
You know, Adidas, Stan Smiths are very, very cute. Superga, is that how you pronounce it? Superga, uh, make cute little sneakers in all different colors, just something like that. I wore these all winter long, just like a cute sneaker with a big chunky sweater, a faux fur coat, turtlenecks. But going into spring, I would see something like this with a great denim skirt and like a cute um, v-neck white tee and maybe a uh, military jacket. So I'll show you, I have one of those, just kind of like a lightweight parka. And you can wear these with jeans. You can even wear them with like a cute casual dress. And sneakers like this in particular, not athletic sneakers, but there's so many more brands that are making just like cute classic sneakers that you don't have to look like you're going to the gym and you can wear them into from winter into spring. Okay, moving on to coats, leather jackets. I wore my leather jacket all throughout winter. I would wear it just as I'm wearing it now, maybe with a turtleneck and a big scarf. That's how I used to really style them and, you know, put on my leather jacket and put on a big scarf and maybe have boots or whatnot, but a leather jacket is one of the best pieces to go into spring. And I don't know whether I would necessarily wear it into summer, depending depending on the color. If you have black leather jacket, maybe not wearing it into summer, but this can definitely go into spring. I would just keep it very simple with like a white camisole and jeans, cute sneakers. You can dress it up even to just keep that camisole and you can do a skirt with it. You can do a midi skirt. I have a look on my blog that I did where I wore this, a camisole and a midi skirt. I also, there's also a lot of colored denim um, leather jackets or suede jackets that are a cute way to go into spring. This one is the same brand, it's like by Blank NYC. This is my green one that I purchased, I think two falls ago. And I absolutely love it. It's definitely something that I could wear into spring. I actually have this styled on the blog and it was with a cute floral dress. It had some green in it and I just wore some ankle boots. That is a cute spring or fall outfit. So something like this with a really cute floral dress and you could wear, you know, flats, you could wear ankle boots, something like that to really take it into spring where you're removing the heavy stuff underneath and putting something lightweight underneath, whether it's a dress, a camisole, a tank top, just a button down silk blouse. This and some black slacks would be absolutely fantastic. So this is a great piece. If you have leather jackets or suede jackets, don't put them away yet until you get really into like the heat of summer. Another piece that I really love. I purchased this just a few weeks ago and it's a long cardigan. This one is still available. Most of this stuff is available. I'm going to search around and see if I can find most of the stuff in the retailers that still have maybe some in stock, but most of these pieces are pieces that you can duplicate. You can duplicate all of this stuff. You can duplicate a lightweight turtleneck. You can duplicate sneakers, ankle boots, leather jackets, long cardigans. Now we think of long cardigans, we think of fall, we think of being cozy and all that sort of thing. But I think this would be great into spring with a tank top underneath and jeans and then maybe some open toed sandals. So you're starting to lighten it up. I wore this recently on my blog and it was kind of like a cool day, but not super cold. So I wore the camisole and I wore with jeans and over the knee boots. I'll link that blog post below. But this, I just love, let me stand on my step stool so you can see kind of how it looks. It's very, very long, almost to my ankle, but I think something like this is perfect to go into spring because you don't want a heavy coat, but you still need something because it's maybe chilly out in the morning or you need something, especially if you work in an office and you want to wear lighter weight clothing, but you know, you're not ready for tank tops or anything like that. You need something light to drape on or to cover your arms during the day. Something like this is perfect. And I absolutely, and there's so many lightweight cardigans out now. I mean, a lot of the chunky ones are great for fall and winter, but a lot of these lighter weight ones are perfect as the end of winter begins and moving into spring. 
my final piece that I love to wear in the colder months and then move into the warmer months are like military jackets. Well, first let me, I think a parka is fantastic. Now this one I bought during the Nordstrom anniversary sale. I'm sure many of you have seen me style it on Instagram and on the blog. And what I loved about this one is it's got this great faux fur collar, but the faux fur collar is removable. So I wore this so much throughout the winter. It wasn't, it's not exceptionally heavy and like bulky. So I would need to put a very big chunky sweater underneath, but going into spring, I would just remove the faux fur collar. I love the kind of army green color. And I would just pair this with, I could, you know, I used to wear a lot of my lightweight parkas and stuff, even to work when I used to work at an office job, I would wear like a pencil skirt and I would have like a button down blouse and I would throw on like a lightweight military um, jacket or parka. And then I would have like nice pointy toed, let's say leopard print flats or something like that. So I would remove this and it would go with so many different spring items. This Madeville jacket, I'm sure you guys are like, yeah, we know, you talk about it all the time. I know, because I can't say enough good things about this. This is such a classic piece, and it's been on, it's a staple that they make all year round, but especially going into spring, this is one of my favorite pieces. And just not too fitted, not too heavy, but not too lightweight. It's like right in between. It's that like mid weight jacket that you need when the seasons are changing. I mean, going into summer, I would probably bring this if I was going indoors somewhere. I didn't wear this a ton in winter. I wore the parka a little bit more, but I still feel like a spring wardrobe really would benefit from this particular jacket, this particular style jacket. And I'll link below a bunch of different ways that I've worn it. I wore it with just like a cute striped dress and sneakers, I like I said, I used to wear this to work at my old office job, and I would wear either like a tank top underneath or I wear like a button down blouse and uh, a regular pencil skirt and like kind of pointy toe flats. We were a business casual, so we could only wear jeans on Fridays. So that's, if you get an idea of kind of the vibe of the office, we weren't super, you know, dressed up business, but it wasn't super casual either. So, but I could get away with something like this and just wearing something a little more polished underneath. And that's it. So I wanted to keep it super simple and I wanted to make these items not necessarily about the specific item, though I will look for all of these and link them down below, but more the concept of all these items. So the parka and the military jacket, the long cardigan and how easy this is to move into spring and leather jackets or suede jackets. If you have them in lighter colors, even better. But if you don't, don't put them away yet because they really, I mean, I still love black in the spring and even black in the summertime in the evening is perfect. And then shoe wise, sneakers are definitely something pretty much all year round, but I wore these a ton in the winter and not talking athletic sneakers, we're talking a little bit more of a dressier fun sneaker that is more for going out and about throughout the day rather than actually working out. And then don't put away your ankle boots. These, you know, pull out if you have any lighter colored ankle boots, that's perfect for spring, but don't put away your ankle boots because they're easy to pair with jeans and a lightweight top. They're easy to pair with skirts, dresses, even shorts I've seen and I really love that look sometimes. And then of course, turtlenecks. Don't put away your turtlenecks because they are still warm and they can keep you, you know, against it's a little brisk or cool outside, but you're not in a full on sweater and you're not yet moving on to short sleeves or tank tops. So hope this was helpful. And like I said, I will go ahead and link a ton of blog posts down below on my blog of different styling ideas and different ways that I've worn them. And so, and like I said, I'll try to find all of these items. If I can't find the identical one, I will find something similar, but I think most all of them are still available with the exception of maybe the ankle boots. So hope you found this helpful. It's a little bit of a change up from my typical beauty content, but just remember I do post on my blog outfit posts twice a week. 
and on Instagram all the time. So there's a ton of fashion content over there. And in those blog posts, I give all different types of styling suggestions. I give different similar items. I talk about my favorite classic pieces and, you know, different sales to look out for. So that's a great place to uh, check weekly and follow me there. So I will link everything I talked about down below and I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.